The crystallized ghost skin is now in Modern Warfare 2, and this bundle comes with 11 different tracer weapons. The first thing you get is the spectral ghost skin, and he has a crystal head, and it's not even a head. It is just a skull, and it appears to be floating. Then we've got a temper razorback blueprint with ghastly blue slash ethernal tracers. Then the elimination effect is soul server, which is a uh, very interesting. Then we've got one for the Lockman sub as well. And the pattern on that is really cool. Then we've got a combat knife. And yes, all of these are reactive. So as you take out enemies, they're going to evolve. We're going to be testing out all the different forms of these. And we're going to see what they look like with camos. Then we've got the deliverance. And this is a throwing knife skin. Yes. This is a throwing knife. It's going to have custom tracers and a bunch of different effects. Then we've got a weapon charm, a weapon sticker, a loading screen, and an emblem. This bundle costs 2,800 COD points. And if you want to see more bundle reviews like this in the future, we fully test out everything, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. Here's what other people are going to see when you use the spectral ghost skin. Starting off with the most important part, the head, or should I say skull, completely made of crystal slash glass. And it is very detailed in game. You can even see through it. You can see right through this because there's no... I mean, it, it, it's just a skull. You could you could just straight up see through the whole thing. And it's also not even connected to the body. It's just kind of floating there. It's almost like a decapitated body, but there's no blood. It's You can kind of see where the veins would be, but instead there's symbols here. Um, Definitely an extremely realistic skin. This is what modern day soldiers look like in combat. If you guys haven't uh, seen that, they're floating crystal skulls. There's uh, some uh, smoke effects around it. The suit itself looks like veins are muscles and stuff but it it doesn't look like realistic it's it's almost like the suit he's wearing has that imprinted on it uh just generic pants is what his pants look like we got a pistol there but yeah the, the rest of the suit very basic the only really standout part is the face and it stands out a lot what if we shoot here can we can we still hit someone if you shoot him through the neck okay yes so even though uh, it, there is no neck here. If you shoot him right there, it's still going to do damage. The crystal skull blends in with water. So if you're playing water plays with this skin, you're kind of ducking in and out. It's going to be a little bit harder to see than normal skins there. Because you can see that skull just almost matches the water perfectly there. But yeah, that's the full on operator. As you get close, obviously it reveals his entire body. But as you back away a little bit, this might be pretty powerful when it comes to playing in water now let's see if this skin gives away your position in the dark and no it does not this is actually a pretty stealthy looking skin and it might be even harder to see than a normal looking skin in darker environments you do have some glowing parts around the neck that's what made me think it was going to be a little bit more noticeable in darker areas but unless you're like right up there you don't see that whatsoever even the skull blends in in darker environments this isn't a reactive skin so as you get kills it's not going to evolve so this is how it's going to look no matter what so it's a pretty stealthy skin now for the tracers and blueprints that come in this bundle starting with the lockman sub this is pretty basic but keep in mind these are reactive weapons so as you get kills they're going to evolve and get more ridiculous this is just the base form we'll be testing out the other forms in just a moment it looks like it's got obsidian for the weapon skin then the bullets are light blue moving on to the tempest razorback once again, just looks like it's got obsidian on it with light blue bullets. I am so glad this is not an ISO hemlock or a Bass P. I feel like all the bundles this season for ARs, it's either been an M4 or an ISO hemlock. There's not very many Tempest Razorbacks with tracers, so this is nice to get. Same thing, the Lockman sub is a refreshing weapon to get as well. There's not many other Lockmans or Lockman subs with tracers in this game. All right, moving on to the tracers. So we shoot it up into the sky and it's just kind of like a light blue up there. Then if we shoot it onto the ground, oh, it's got a custom sound. And it's also like a ghost splash effect, like a spectral splash effect. That is a pretty unique looking trace. Let's just listen to the sound real quick. I really think that adds extra personality to blueprints when they give them custom shooting sounds. Yep, also here on the Tempest Razorback. Let's go ahead, reload this. Now let's see what the tracers look like in a darker environment. Oh, uh, they're not, yeah, they're still pretty noticeable. It's like that ghost splash effect. The effect still shows when shot into water. It is kind of hard to see though, but yeah, it's still definitely there. These tracers are crazy at night. When we were testing it earlier, I didn't see that purple hue around it, but yeah, when you shoot it, there's also a giant purple hue and uh, you're not gonna miss it at night. Also, there is a custom laser sight for the MP5. It wasn't really noticeable at daytime, but you can see it's just a light blue effect. Must follow the light. Then for the third blueprint, we've got a combat knife, which is also reactive. That is extremely rare. Getting a reactive melee weapon almost never happens. The skin itself is pretty basic. Just looks like it's got obsidian. The blade has some holes in it, but it's also got a charm on it. And no, I didn't equip this. This is just on there by default. In Modern Warfare 2, you can't put charms on melee weapons. So this is the only melee weapon with a charm in the entire game. 
You can't really see it when you're inspecting. It kind of dangles on the bottom. You can catch a glimpse of it for a second. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. Now, here's where things get really fun. Let's test out the custom hit marker effects, the custom elimination effects, and evolve these weapons. So when you shoot an enemy, it doesn't look like anything special happens. Maybe the spectral blast is just a little bit bigger, and it, eh, it honestly doesn't look like anything special happens when you hit an enemy. So no special hit marker effects. Then when we take out an enemy, the weapons take the soul of the enemy and absorb it. Uh, what about a he headshot? Anything special if we get a headshot? Nope. You just absorb their soul like normal. It kind of sucks because this was an effect they gave us for free at one point. Then they removed it. And Whoa, what the? Oh, that, that's just that's just Izzy. Then they brought it back, but now it's in a bundle. So yeah, they accidentally gave us a knife with these effects, but now we have it in this bundle. So this should evolve the weapons. If we take out there, another soul, three kills. Now we've got the first evolve form of these weapons. And you can see it just looks like they're constantly absorbing souls. They've got like the same as the impact effect, but it's just constantly going into the weapon. I wonder if that's going to stay when we put camos on this. Then we've got it also on the... Ooh, it almost looks like the souls got absorbed into the obsidian and crystallized it. I really like the way this looks. Look at the Tempest Razorback one more time. And it doesn't have the same crystallized effect. Almost a little bit. I guess it's just not as much surface area. Let's get a few more kills. See if we can evolve these bad boys again. Go ahead. All right. Long range suck. Here we come. Ooh. Okay. So it doesn't matter what distance you kill an enemy at. No matter what. You're going to suck them no matter what distance. And your weapon's going to take all that. They haven't evolved again yet. We've got a lot of kills. These might only have one reactive tier. We're up to 23 kills. And we haven't evolved at anything past what we got for the three kills. Does the sucking work underwater? Can you suck people? In oh, you can. You can still suck people and get their souls when they're underwater. It just comes out of the water, absorbed into the weapon. Now let's suck some people at night. So go ahead. Oh, dude, the... Oh, when it goes into the weapon, it looks insane. One more time. And there's the first of all form. This almost looks like a Pack-A-Punch camo. This... this just straight up looks like a Pack-A-Punch camo when you do it at night. That's pretty sick. Go ahead. Look at the... There's just not near as much coverage on the Tempest Razorback. It just... I guess it's kind of there, but it's still not great. Dude, the MP5 looks crazy. Here's the charm that comes in the bundle. And yes, it does have special effects. It's got that ghostly glow on it. Let's see if we take it in a darker area, how much it stands out. Oh yeah, pretty noticeable charm here. Love when we get charms with special effects. Now let's evolve the knife. One, two, and three get all the souls in here and uh yeah it's like the normal knife but now it's glowing with the spectral stuff all over it oh yeah super duper reactive knife let's take a closer look at the elimination effect so you knife them and then the soul goes into the knife which unfortunately this was already in the game you were able to get a free knife that did this but they did that by accident so they removed it and you can't get this effect for free anymore now, the only way to get this effect on the knife is by buying this bundle, which kind of sucks. It sucks they gave it out for free and then took it away, regardless if it was for an accident or not. I love the sound this makes. Just listen to it. Now, these reactive weapons work different than all the other reactive weapons in the game. You actually have to get the kills with a weapon that's going to suck the soul for them to evolve. If you get killed with other weapons, it's not going to count. And if you die, it's going to reset it. With other reactive weapons, when you die, it doesn't reset the effects. All three kills have to be in one life. The second you die, it's going to go back to the base form. Now for the camo coverage, and we're only going to show this on a few weapons because you do have to get the kills each and every time. Here's the final form with gold. You can still see the gold and you can still see the crystallized part. Overall, pretty cool. The knife, whenever you put mastery camos on it and evolve it, you can't see any part of the camo whatsoever. This has the gold camo on it, but you can't tell. Polyatomic looks pretty nice. Galavanic also really doesn't fit that well in these blueprints. Then here's the projectile camo. I think it looks better than the other animated camos, but honestly, I think you might be best just not running camos on this. And finally, we got the solid camos, and I think this is another blueprint where the solid camos are just the best. It just, it, the moving parts just add too much going on with it. Having a nice solid camo here, like the whiteout one, looks really nice. All the mass mastery camos on the mp5 the event camos on the mp5 and yeah they just kind of clash they're not 
they, I mean, some of them are all right. Like I said, I think the solid camos are just the best. Mastery camos on the Razorback. Event camos on the Razorback. Once again, just too much going on. Then we've got the solid camos. Now for my favorite part of this bundle, let's test out the throwing knife skin. To equip this, you want to hover over the throwing knife, go to skins, and we're going to put on the deliverance, and we're going to select this. So now if we pull out our throwing knife, this is what it's going to look like. You can see it's got a custom skin here. It almost looks like the knife we were using earlier still has the charm on it. And if we throw it, yeah, it's got tracers. It almost tells you where it's going to go. So if you throw a far throwing knife and you miss, you can kind of now adjust where you're going to go. That might be kind of helpful. Let's see if we can use this effect to help us out. Let's try to hit this satellite dish. Okay, so we throw it. Oh, well, we managed to hit it. Okay, well, that doesn't help us. We, we were supposed to miss. All right, something a little bit harder. Let's try to hit the tire on this car. So if we throw this, we can see the line there and we can adjust it a little bit and boom. There we hit it. I don't think it's going to help you a ton because the line goes away pretty quickly, but you are going to see the trajectory when you throw, which can help you in some cases. Oh, it's even got the custom skin when you have it in the wall. You get to see the charm and everything. That's kind of cool. But what about when you take someone out with a throwing knife? Oh, it collects the soul. Yeah, this is uh, the best throwing knife in the game. Go ahead, collect the soul. Let's see. Can we go back, collect a throwing knife? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Does the throwing knife evolve as you get kills with it? Hold on, I'm going to have to throw this down, pick it back up. Oh, the throwing knife even gets the special effect. So after you get three kills with your throwing knife, it gets the same stuff that's on the knife there. I didn't expect that. The throwing knife even evolves. It's a reactive animated throwing knife. Oh, yeah, I um, I love this. Oh, yes, let's go give me that soul. Oh, dude, nothing's going to feel better than hitting a cross mask cross map throwing knife with one of these and collecting the soul that is so nice the one downside i can see about this throwing knife is if you're trying to stay hidden and you take out an enemy yeah his teammates are going to know exactly where you're at because there's going to be a giant orb that leads right to your location this is what it looks like when other people are using the weapon so yes other players can still see the souls pop out of the enemies and go into the weapon and yes enemy players can see it when you do it to them as well now let's see what happens when we take all the attachments off these weapons and how how many different weapons we're able to use the tracers on so the mp5 you do lose a little bit when you take the barrel off and with the mp5 even if you do take all the attachments off you are still going to keep the tracers the only way you're going to lose that is if you change the ammo type then we've got the tempest razorback let's go ahead and remove all these attachment as well with this one it does look a little bit funky when you take the barrel off and unfortunately with this yes you are going to lose the tracer fire and the death effects when you take all the attachments off you have to keep the high velocity on but because of this, this means we are able to use these tracers on other weapons. So if we go over to a weapon like the M4, which has that 5.56, five, if we go here, go to high velocity, go to skins, we're able to equip this tracer fire on the M4. Now it has the tracers and it also has the death effects as well. There are a lot of weapons that use this ammo type. This right here is the TAC-56. And yes, it has the tracers and the death effects here. We've got a bunch of different weapons we can try out too. So let's go ahead, go in game with this. This is the Lockman 556. Yes, got the tracers and the death effect. This is the 556 STB. Once again, look at it. Got the tracer fires and the death effect on these. And it just keeps going. Now we've got two other weapons. We've got the M16. Go ahead, look at it. Yep, tracer fire death effects. This is the, I don't even remember what this is called. This is the STB uh, LMG. But as you can see, it's got the tracer fires and the death effects. And we even have another one. We've got this LMG right here. What What is this? The Icarus 556. Look at this. Yep. Got the tracer fires and the death effect. So because of this, we were able to put that ammo type on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven additional weapons that weren't in the bundle. And the high velocity, in my opinion, is the best ammo type for DMZ and Warzone. So if you're an AR slash LMG player, this is a pretty good bundle to buy because you get so many different weapons with tracers. And finally, we've got the DMZ slash Warzone testing. Sometimes the tracers and effects work against bots. Sometimes they don't. So yes, in DMZ slash Warzone, the tracer effects work. Now let's see what happens when we take out a bot. Are we going to get the soul from it? Yes. Taking out bots in DMZ or Warzone is going to get you the soul. And after three kills, it is still going to evolve. Oh, now what about the throwing knife? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's not die here. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. All right. Throwing knife. And this is going to be huge because I love the throwing knife in DMZ. So yes, the throwing knife effects still work in DMZ slash Warzone. That is, that is sick. Yep. This is probably going to be the only field upgrade I use in DMZ from this point on. 
overall, if I had to rate this bundle, even though it's a little bit more than a normal bundle, normal bu normal bundles are 2,400 COD points. This is an extra four dollars. It's two thousand eight hundred, but uh, this is one of my favorite bundles in the entire game. I love the crystallized like death effects you get, where the weapons themselves look crystallized when they evolve. They got the souls going into it. When you kill enemies or real players, you take their soul and you absorb it into your weapon. You get a throwing knife skin, which is the second ever uh, uh, lethal skin we have here in Modern Warfare 2. We got the Wampa Grenade, but now we've also got this throwing knife, which I'm going to be using a ton. You also get seven additional weapons with tracer effects making a total of 11 different weapons you can put tracers on you've got the four that come in the bundle normally and then you've got the additional seven and it's high velocity it is an ammo type that is actually worth using in dmz so you get seven different weapons with a good ammo type you're able to put tracers and death effects on that's pretty big in my opinion so for me personally this bundle's my favorite so far this season and maybe one of the best bundles we've seen here the ghost skin's also pretty sick with the crystal face, but honestly, that in my opinion gets outshined by everything else. Like I like the operator skin you get, but I just think everything else this bundler has to offer is so much better than that. But with that, guys, let me know your opinions on that bundle. If you want to see any more bundle reviews in the future where we fully review and test out everything in a bundle, that way you can see what you're going to get before you pay for it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.